It's Tuesday morning. Start of week 13 of marathon training. And we're starting to reduce the mileage, but not by a huge amount, to be quite honest. <laughs> so today is my speed session. So it's a tempo run. So we've got two miles easy, two miles at marathon pace, one at tempo, and then one easy. So six miles in total. Not feeling it today. Legs still feel super tired after last week's beastly week of training. My right calf is still not overly happy with me, but normally after I've done a couple of easy miles, it warms up a bit. So we'll be all right. We've just got to dig in. I've just got to dig in and get it done, as always, which is what I always do. Right, I'll check out for now. Hello, hello. It's Wednesday morning. And I'm hitting the trails today for a bit of change of scenery. See you in the local country park. Very nice, it is too. Just the five miles easy today, and then a strength session afterwards. Nothing too strenuous. I'm not really looking at the camera very much this morning because a bit more technical than I'm used to. Legs still feeling sore, <laughs> as to be expected. It won't be till late next week, I think, before I start to see, feel the effects of the taper. But it's fine. I'm prepared for it. Right, I'm going to get the rest of this run down. Check back in with you when we're finished. I'm taking it super easy today. Not even looking at my watch to see whether I'm doing the right pace. Um, to be honest, starting to feel a little bit burnt out now. I woke up several times in the night just trying to get comfy in my legs. As I moved just felt a bit sore. Just yeah so rather than not go out today just thought we'll have a change of scenery, get out in the woods, out to nature, hear the birds, see the squirrels and the rabbits, might even see a deer if I'm lucky. I just don't worry about pace today. I've walked the hills. Do you know, I'm actually really enjoying myself. And this is what it is about sometimes. And this is what I used to do early on when I started running. And now I think sometimes we can get a bit too obsessed with goals, paces, race times. And sometimes it is good just to take a step back. And look, I mean, look at this. It's just beautiful, look. the autumn leaves shedding, all the colours, the green. Up quiet for a sec, you can hear the birds. It's just beautiful. Much better than just going around in circles on the pavement. <laughs> so, yeah. And I, I don't care if it's gonna affect my training, because the thing is, I know it won't. <laughs> I'm still out, I'm still doing the miles, a little bit slower than I normally would, but it was either that or not go out, and you know, once you stop, once you start skipping runs, just because you can't, you don't feel like it, that is a slippery slope as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, I'm really glad I decided to do this today, I'm not feeling guilty, not feeling bad, not worried about it, just enjoying the run, run slash walk. Yeah, I'd better start running again because I can't be walking for too long. Okay, we're back. Super, super easy pace today, as I said. So I did, um, I did five miles in just over an hour, which is ridiculously slow. That's over what twelve minute miles, which is yeah, very slow for me. I've not run that slow in quite some time. But you know, as I said earlier, feeling burnt out, feeling tired. I just you know now is not the time to be a hero or an idiot. I should say and push myself and do myself in you know i'm on the home straight now through two and a half weeks to go until the big day just take it easy you know just just walk a bit go out in the woods bit of scenery enjoy myself you know i was walking the hills it's fine it's not a problem it's not going to make any difference to my training if i miss my target by five minutes it's not going to be because of that run it's it's absolutely fine yeah at the end of the day I've only been running for 
under two and a half years. I'm in my forties. I'm still overweight, and I've spent most of my adult life not exercising pretty much at all, other than maybe a twenty minute walk around the park at lunchtime. So I need. I'm gonna feel tired. I'm gonna feel burnt out at this point. You know, I'm following quite a rigorous training plan. Forty mile week is huge for me. Crazy mileage. You know, really, I know for a lot of people I watch on YouTube, it's, it's nothing. They do more than that every week. But this is why, you know, we should never compare ourselves to other people. You know, I love watching other, other YouTubers and seeing what they do and, you know, following their journey. But we all have our own journey. We all have our own pace. We all have our own goals. And there's no way we can ever compare ourselves to anyone else. Of all the YouTubers that I watch, I am by far, I wouldn't say the worst runner, but the least Proficient runner, I'm probably the slowest, but you know, doesn't matter. Who cares? You know, and and there's people watching me who probably think, "Wow, I wish I could run that far. Or I wish I could run that fast." You know, and you know, you probably will one day if you really want to. We just need to put the work in, and it's the same with me. For a lot of my adult life, I have tend to gravitate towards pastimes, activities, and hobbies that I've had a bit of a natural ability for. I've not had to work that hard. Um, you know, I enjoy cooking. Uh, home brewing was a big hobby for a long time. And again, yeah, there's certain elements of that, but that did need a bit of hard work and a bit of practice. But a lot of it, it was quite quite naturally to me, to be quite honest. I, and I enjoyed it. Running does not come naturally to me. Running is hard. I have to train really hard. I have to put in hours and hours of training in order to get a sub 430 marathon. I know there's a lot of people out there who would could run it quicker with half the amount of training that I've done. And you know what? Fair play to them. Good luck. That's not me. And I need to be aware of that. It's the same for everyone. You know, you need to know your own limits and stick within them. Ultimately, that's what it's about. Anyway, guys, it's enough ramblings for me. I've got to get my strength session done because I've got to start work soon. So I will catch you on Friday for the long run. See ya. Uh, five o'clock in the morning. It's like something out of the exorcist today. <laughs> Look at that. All that fog. Right. Anyway, I've got to get on with it because I'm meeting up with someone this morning. Surprise guest. Right, we'll see them a bit later. I'll check in when it's daylight. Hello. Yeah, we're on. Hello. Right. Got a special guest today. Hello. You may recognise him. <laughs> This is Doug from his channel, Telly and Doug. Not the literal Doug, like I said that time. Yeah. That's a brand of kids' toys. Yeah. <laughs> so we're almost at the end of the run. Doug joined me for the last five miles. 16.55 miles done now. My legs are screaming at me very slightly now. Mainly the hamstrings. Not the hamstrings. Calves, that's the word I'm looking for. Can't even think. But feeling all right. I think poor Doug's about to fall asleep. We're going so slow for him. Right. <laughs> He's even got his alpha flies on. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to say that only because I couldn't find my other ones. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Still comfy at slow speed though. Oh, that's good. They're a decent slow run through, which is weird being a marathon through. There you go. So, how many more are you going to do after this? A couple more? Yeah, one more. Yeah, he's on a 17 tomorrow. Beastie. Uh, nice. And yeah, I will be vlogging that one. <laughs> and then, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it's, it's Highwoods Park Run, then Colson Park Run. Uh, and then trying to finish the probably last pass to finish this Highwoods. So, uh, Colson Park Run. So yeah. the <laughs> there you go, double park run day. Trying to beat the last finisher of the second one. That'll be impressive. Let us know how you get on. Good. And subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. Yeah. I'll put a link in the description, although he's got more subscribers than me anyway, so uh, really. Yeah, that'd be good. Alright anyway, I think we'll move away now, get the last bit done. See you later. Cheers for coming on, Doug. Yeah. Good to see you. This has really helped actually the last oh, nice. five miles. Nice to be out and about. It's the hardest bit just to 
it's good to have some company so <laughs> keep going yeah. anyway see you later hey guys right so after the long run i've reviewed the, the footage of me and doug and you can't really hear what doug is saying at all unfortunately so he was basically saying that he was doing like a double park run challenge on saturday so what he was going to do is go to one park run in colchester run around there and then try and get down and beat the last finisher for the other um park run the park runs are about two miles apart so anyway, he's got a video up on his channel. I've not watched it yet. I'll put a link in the description so you can check that out. I can't wait to watch that. That sounds like a really fun challenge. Kind of the sort of thing I'd like to do at some point on the channel, although not that hard, but there's a few funny challenges happening. Anyway, back to me. So I finished the run with Doug, felt okay, walked back up the hill to home. Legs were a bit sore and achy. I thought, oh, it's just, you know, tiredness or whatever from from the training got in the bath had a bath got out my left leg was feeling quite um i don't know a bit painful i then went to go downstairs i put my foot on the stairs and it was really painful um so long story short i'm kind of injured i've not run since friday morning um the pain is getting slightly better but there was supposed to be another run this week, um, which was going to be six miles. That's not happened. So total mileage for the week then, week 13, it's 28 miles. Did the strength sessions, that was all good. 17 mile long run and possibly an injury. So there we go. I've got a physio appointment on Tuesday. So I will, first time I've ever been to a sports physio. So again, I'm just going to have to go. And find out what's going on. I'm hoping it's nothing too serious, but obviously I've got a marathon in under two weeks, so I need to make sure I'm going into that race as prepared as I can be and as healthy as I can be. And going in, coming out of injury is not the best thing in the world. I'm gutted. I feel like I tried really hard to make sure I was doing everything properly so that this didn't happen, and it's happened. Um, but what can you do? You know, when I was running, I felt tired. My legs were a bit sore, but I didn't feel anything really bad. It was only once I'd stopped, had a bath, and then came out. You know, I did my stretches and everything like I normally do. I don't know. So anyway, that's the end of the week. 28 miles, ending on a bit of a downer. But anyway, so what's going to happen? I don't know. Um, I will post up another video. Well, I don't know, really. It depends. What do I do? Do I wait a week and leave you in suspense? Um, I don't know. So again, we'll see what happens um, and I'll probably maybe post an update on Tuesday just to see what's going on because I don't know if I would want to wait all week. <laughs> Especially if it's bad news, I would rather just get it out of the way. Alright then guys, so thanks for watching. Fingers crossed for me please that this is not a serious injury. Give it a few days off. Know, a bit of massage on Tuesday and we'll be up and running again quite literally inside of a week and able to race at least the good news is all the all the long long runs are done and it was just gonna be decreasing for the next two weeks so I know obviously in an ideal world I would have carried on running and to, to maintain the fitness but you know sometimes you just got to do what you got to do and a forced even if it ends up being a completely forced two-week taper it could be worse, couldn't it? You know, I could, this could have happened in my build weeks. And so, no, that would have been in serious trouble. So, we'll see what happens. Um, I imagine I probably will stand up doing the race, but again, we'll see. You know, I think sports physios are quite realistic in terms of they know that you're probably going to run the race anyway. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you next week. Cheers, everyone.